Hi, I'm Melanie Florence. And this is Miss Melly Flo. So, I'm going to be doing a self-love pick-a-pile. And when I talk pick-a-pile, I'm going to show you the decks. And you can have a good look and see which one you want. And I'm going to timestamp them in the, in, the, in the comments so that you can skip to the one that is a draw, that you're, one that you're drawn to, right? So, uh, pick-a-pile and the self-love. So, the self-love pyramid is a five-line pyramid that comes down to loving you, right? So, it's five lines. Four, five cards for how we got here, four cards for our healing element, three cards for how you apply that to the practical world, two cards for our partnerships, and one for self-love, right? So it's all drawn down to our self-love. Us. That's what it's all about. You can't be a good loving being if you don't love yourself and it's working on ourselves, right? That really it sort of helps help things move. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I've got a few piles that I have made. I'm also going to do a, a hot, hot tea after this because this is a sweet, hot tea, right? So the sweet, hot tea is self-love and the hot, hot tea is for partnerships and we're heading into our uh, Valentine's weekend. So let's see what we've got on the love books first for you. And if you would like the passion, if you'd like the hot, hot tea and what's going on for part four, like our relationships, I'm also going to have another reading for that. So I do do um, I do personal readings if you are after them I can get it to you in 24 hours and we can do a few different readings for you so you can get a, a bit of light and for you and see what we've got going on so I'm going to turn this down you can see what we've got going on on the table I'm going to leave it for a second so you can have a look and I'll explain what I put together and we can see where it goes let's see all right so all right go with hot hot tea I'm going to use the heart and soul, no matter which one you pick. So we'll get a card from that. But I have chosen the Archetype deck, the Lightseer Tarot, and the Oracle Tarot, which is a Lucy Cavendish Fairy Tarot. So as you might guess, this one is a little bit more fae. I've got mermaids in there. I've got dragon fae. We've got fairy blessings in there. This one with the Lightseer, it's a little bit more modern. I've got the Star Seed, both the Star Seeds by Rebecca Campbell in there. And a bit of Goddess and a bit of uh, Old World card in there for you. Or I've got a real modern set, which I've got the Archetype deck. And with that, I've got the Super Attractive and I've got a magic and I've got a bit of ancient so we'll see what we've got in there it's a bit more um hmm, a bit more a super attractive but different decks as well so we've got the care bear in the teacup we've got poppy in the hot teacup and this little sprite guy this little woodland sprite I've had forever my mum gave me a chimp probably 20 years ago so have a good look. I am going to put the two to a side. I'm going to start with the Archetypes deck with the Care Bears, but have a look in the timestamp if you picked Poppy and the Teacup or the uh, our Little Woodland Sprite. Um, are there and the Horseshoe, obviously. They're going to be in the comments just for you uh, and skip to them right now. All right, I'm going to pull these to the side. Come on, little guy. All right, I'll pull you to the side. All right, and Poppy, I'll pull you over to the side. And we're gonna start oh, with a little Care Bear in the teacup. All right, what have we got? Self-love pyramid, all gonna come in to you. And I'm gonna try to do it so that you guys can see it because that's how I want it. That's how we want it. Right, so for this week leading into Valentine's Day, what have we got? Ooh, I hope I've got my little card thing. I do have my little card thing here. A friend of mine gave me. I have got a given abundance of decks. This is why we've got so many decks sitting here. Because I got given an abundance of decks uh, last year. I set out to the universe. I think I need more decks. And then they came in. I had some beautiful friends that sent me stuff. I got inspired and bought some other decks. So we've got a big combination of, 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 of different things. Right. So I'm going to start with... Heart and Soul by Tony Carmen Selenero. With our little Care Bear in the teacup, what do we got? This is a great deck if you are looking for something just for a little bit of inspiration to put on your to put on your table. I'm gonna go with her. Alright, so what have we got? Something will be revealed in a dream or through someone you trust. For the, the information shed lights on something that has remained hidden from you for some time. Suddenly the missing piece of the puzzle, puzzle appears and you're able to see the bigger picture. Ooh, this is like a pixel, like one pixel 
comes together on the computer and everything. The whole picture comes into frame. So watch out for your dreams here, my little Care Bears. Watch out for your dreams. So something or somebody is going to tell you something. All right. I'm going to give us one out of the Super Attractor. Let's see what we got in the Super Attractor deck. All right. What a week. Let's see what we've got in the Super Attractor deck. All right. Spiritual alignment. Puts my manifestation into my into momentum, into motion, into momentum. Spiritual alignment. Look, I think sometimes like this for me has all been about trying to do something really congruent that actually rings true for me. And so when you do come into spiritual alignment, you do find a place that you can manifest. All right. So this is put your manifestation into motion. All right. So this dream might find something. This idea might give you something. And I let the universe catch up with my dreams. All right, so this is also about putting it out there, putting your spiritual alignment into the place to put your manifestation into motion. This one here is literally saying, let the universe catch up. You've got to put the vibration out there, sustain the vibration, make motion to the vibration, right? Get your alignment together and wait for the universe to catch up to your dreams. All right, put yourself out there. All right, something's going to come together. The picture's going to come together for us all. And each time I tune into spirit guidance of the highest truth, where each time I tune into spirit guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. Okay. All right, so this is about alignment. This is a lot about alignment. This might be that something's coming together, the picture's coming together, something that was hidden from you is going to come into view. You know, and this is about putting your manifestation into motion, letting the universe hear you and catch up with you. All right, and then your highest truth. Okay, each time I tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. And it's the truth, no matter, and you know what, no matter how bad a mood I've been in, to be honest, or what a, it's been really interesting over the years of how much the, these things have disconnected, and they're, they're not, and it aligns to give what it should give, and the highest truth does show up. All right, so I've got a bit of divination from the ancients. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ogham. Ogham. So this is divination from nature. Ooh, so it's not just feathers. This is trees. This is the sun. This is the weather. This is the animals. This is you being able to tune into your natural being. All right, so this divination card, this ancient divination of the ancients card, is, is really about tuning into your natural beast, tuning into your tree. This is the world tree. All right, tuning into the, the things that are you know, around you. So there might be a spot where you may, might want to connect and reconnect. We're heading into a good weekend. Like, and reconnect with your dreams and reconnect with your forest. But this is a real nature card. Not surprised if you're following me that you might be involved with nature because I do do my weekly readings in elements because I'm element based. Ah, I also got this deck, right? It's called Magical Spell Cards. I am going to get to this five card reading in just a minute. But I thought I'd give us a few cards to round in first. So this magical spell cards I've got because it felt like an 1800s, like, enlightenment deck. Okay. Inspiration. Isis, goddess, for ma it, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring inspiration to me. All right. So Isis being our sort of, our eat, like, our goddess, our mother goddess, but it's bringing inspiration into your circle. So all of this is about inspiration. Things are going to come into tune. It's tuning into your nature. It's aligning with your manifestation and waiting for your dreams to come up and tuning into your highest guidance. All right. And here we are. So Isis here, we're in this space of inspiration. Uh, Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring inspiration to me. All right. So Let's get into this. I do have another deck sitting there, but I reckon we've got enough of bitches sitting there. I might give us one from the Mystic Healings directly, but we will see. I did get a whole heap of decks out for these. But here we are. I'm going to do the Self Love Pyramid. Let's start. Five cards with the Archetype deck for how we got here. Now, this card, this deck is actually a bit hard hitting. So let's see. I find this very interesting. It's opposite of my Greenwood. It's very modern, which is why I think I've I tuned. I love it. All right, so five cards for how we got here. Whew, so this has been perhaps a spiritual, like when we're talking about the desert, when we're talking a lack of emotions, we're taking a back of water, 
Yeah, and we can see a hand reaching out and this is a new moon that we're reaching out to with. And this is a new moon that we're in right now. And so this is reaching out perhaps for inspiration. This is really realizing that you may have isolated maybe, but we're looking for, you know, catching up for what we've got. And so you may feel that you're coming in a spot that you're coming from a bit of a desert sort of spot. Let's see, five cards. Let's see what the other four are. Oh, do, do, do. Oh. There's two more. I'm going to put them together. Let's see. Ooh, and you come to a dead end. And the box, what's in the middle of the box? There's a star in the middle of the box. It's like a pyramid sometimes. All right. All right. Come back to these cards. Give me two more. Two more. That one. Oh, the box and the seed. One more. Planting a seed, perhaps. Let's see what we got. One more. So how we got here. The mask. Okay. All right, let's look at them all in perspective together. So how we got here. We have a bit of a desperate, so we may be feeling that we're, we're that we don't feel the love that we've we've had a little bit of trouble with reaching out and reaching out and connecting with people. We might feel isolated. It might be that you know all sunshine makes a desert. That you feel like you're having to to fake it till you make it a little bit too much. Uh, but this is sort of a reaching out card, and it's because you know that you came to a dead end. Whatever you were doing, it wasn't working, and it was time to take a new thing. You know, you had to make dreams realign, and I really love redreaming. All right. So then we look at in the box. What is in the box? It's our dream. That's our that's our wish in the box in the center. And there's a path in there. There's a path winding around to it. Right. And here we have this box that we're. What are we thinking? It's not empty. Right. This box is full and it's surrounded. Right. So we've had to think about maybe after we've gone through this desert this space and this dead end. What actually is the dream? What actually is the star that we're keeping? Them? Because there's a seed that we've planted. Okay. There's a seed, there's a seed that was planted. So one of my favorite sayings from those tapes and stuff is look not at the apple in the seed in the apple, but the orchard in the seed. All right. So when we plant one seed, when we look at that one seed, there's trees that grow, that grow, grow trees that grow, trees that grow fruit. All right, so these, it's all, oh, what is the seed that we're planting? This is about looking in the box. We came to, what we were doing wasn't working. It's been giving, it's been barren. All right, so this, we were looking at in the box. What's in our box? What is it that we have in our life? What is that dream? What is that seed that was planted? All right, and then we have this mask that sits here. And so this mask can be of a couple of things. It can be the day and the light. It can be a bit Gemini, the inside and outside. You know, do we have a darkness and that we're putting a mask on that we're showing inspiration? This could be trying to be the love you want to see, like even though it's not necessarily there. Like, so this could be, you know, really putting forward one face while you're still working on this dead end and how you feel about that. Okay, because we're waiting for what we've put into motion to come back to us. Okay, so there are five for how we got here. So we got four cards for, four cards for our healing element. Oh, the storm, lightning energy. There's lightning energy in the storm, something stirring up. So with our desert, there's, so this is all changed into a bit of a storm going on here. All right, what else we got? Four more, come on. This is the problem with being like shuffling a lot of cards over the time is that you come a bit good shuffling. You used to divide the deck, but I like getting them jump out. Gnosis. All right, so this is a period where we're going to change, where we're going to see different inspirations. Gnosis has got to do with being able to see different elements from different spiritualities and being able to work with that. So a lightning change and making this box, so this box is transformed in its lines inside of here, inside of the Gnosis and where it processes. And you can see, you can see the cogs ticking, there's a wheel turning, there's inspiration and there's this flight of this bird that's talking, all right, that we're talking in there. And so this is inspirational talk coming out of this dead end and this, this box that we have just here. Okay, and on top of that, we've got a bridge. So this bridge, so this is reaching out with this seed and, and the box, this is with this inspiration, you can see the rainbow again. All right, this is crossing that river. This is a transference of energy. This is, you know, the river is of those emotions that we perhaps haven't been feeling and this is really reaching out and that spirit and that spirit jump across to what we've got just there. So this is a nice um, healing element inside of our healing element. 
the wheels are changing. There has been a storm. And the storm is, is part of this healing element for you. All right. One more for how we got here. All right. There we are. Anima Mundi. All right. Anima Mundi. Oh, let's turn him up the right way. In the middle of this, you see somebody meditating in this meditative state of all of these different elements. All the planets are surrounding of them, the inspiration surrounding them, all the signs and symbols surrounding them. There's this elevation and you see this ripple effect of things that are permeating, this rainbow ripple effect. And so when you do this, this is actually encompassing, you know, a lot of the spiritual and, and physical worlds into become this encompassing, real radiating from the soul inside of this, inside of this spirit here. That this is where you've been coming to. This is that, you know, when you choose to tune into spirit, the guidance of the highest truth shows up for you. And this is tuning into that nature in that ogham and tuning into that inspiration. Uh, so that we can have that alignment and there's a moment of alignment in here where the bridges are made and that gnosis and the wheel and the cog turning and the storm. Uh, so with this mask and this seed, this is what we've got. We've come out with this beautiful manifestation. It might be a bit like hermitage, but it is really like going on with it, using all of these elements and everything that surrounds us in our spiritual and physical world inside of that Animal Monday card. Okay, three for how we apply this to the world. The shapeshifter. It's time to change. It's time to mutate. You're allowed to change. The storms changed you. You know, you were a desert and this was a dead end, but the storm and this gnosis and this where it's come from, this box and these things that are inside of you, this this inspiration and this following your guiding star. This is actually this this shape shifter that you can move through these elements. You can change. You can you can move. You can change. You're changing. There we are. Nice. Alright. It's a transformation card as you transform from the energies that have, you know, from a, a place that you were perhaps feeling barren and you're going through that spiritual storm. Now, card on the floor. Oh, the stone. So this is, a, a, I believe, this is a card of, again, strong manifestation. It's like this triangle. It's, it's making that sturdy, strong, and we're looking at the stone, the heart, the strength of the matter inside of this, you know, that transformation. Like it means that you perhaps have that foundation stone of yourself, that these are the foundations that you know who you are inside of this bridge. And this is a real knowing in the centre of this reading. This is where it will sit when we put it down. So this stone in the centre of this pyramid is really taking that inspiration from above and bringing it down you know this pyramid is taking the inspiration from above and taking it into your spirit this one is really manifesting from your spirit onto the physical plane so this is a nice strong manifestation and a strength right in the center of this reading for you all right let's get rid of this to the side for funds okay oh so that's the last one for this Oh, so with this bridge and this Anima Mundi and everything that this seed was planted, we've got the Destroyer. You can see the wolf's eyes inside of there. The wolf will play as the pack. The wolf is a lone animal. And again, we've got a guiding star that we're following there. And this is a real animal instinct sort of card. We've got a couple of moons and planets that are flying around this. This has it's got its own energy of, you know, it's contained it, It's contained within and, it, and it's, it's perhaps like a bit lightning in that it's anything on the outside of that. It sort of has that destroying energy. So interestingly, as this is how this is applied, it's probably that you're got, because you're shape-shifting, you're changing. We've got this stone in the middle of this and we've got the mask and you really have grasped all these all this spiritual stuff that you really want. This is actually getting rid of anything surrounding that that isn't working. This bridge is a bridge to a new place for you. Whew. Okay, to how we, this is applies to our, our this is how this applies to our um partnerships one oh the mother so there's a little pearl in the middle of that a mother's love a mother's heart you know looking after this you know this snake is a healing enemy energy that nest inside we have a number one so we're looking after the self and looking after the mother inside of all of this so there's a nice mothering strike strong energy in here you might be feeling that somebody comes to you as a mother you might be feeling that you are emanating that love it's a real nice probably water element sort of card in here with the pearl in the middle of that and the mother and child's hand and the right wearing something oh 
and we're emptying the room. Okay, so before we had the box here and we discussed it being full, here we have a meta state where we've taken everything out of that room. So you've gone through all of this process of, you know, relieving and looking at the inside of you because we were masking stuff up here and projecting something. And this was a real reconnection about being congruent with your spirit and wanting to manifest and wanting to align you know, to put your manifestation into motion. Right? And this is everything around that is not meant to be. It's not going to be here. But this, here, you have an empty room. So you feel like the mother. You've got mother energy and you've got nice, strong connection in here. Um, but we also have an empty space so that you can work with, so you can manifest whatever it is. So you've that empty space. This is a meditative room. It's looking out on the stars. Right? So it's an empty space that you get to work with. It's not cluttered. With everything. All right, fast card four. What are we gonna? What are we? What are we? What are we? Self love. The last card is for self love. Woo! <gasps> this is a commitment. The ring. <sighs> this is a commitment to yourself. Self love is that spot, and that's like, you know, because this is the ring could be that there's a circle of nature, the ring could be that there's a commitment from someone else. You know, this is a never-ending ring. It sort of talks about a flow that goes over and over and over and comes back in your own cycle. So, you know, whether this ring is a commitment from somebody else or a commitment from yourself to you, you know, this is, to, you know, for you to have your highest dreams. This is for you to, you know, connect with the universe. But it also could be in this that there's a partnership inside of this that, you, that you've that you got that the, you're going to find that you've got a, a, a commitment sitting there at the end of that. Whew, these are always long journeys. They're always a little bit complicated and not complicated. This sort of opens up a lot of things. This archetype deck is really different. And I, you know, so I can see that we've got, you know, a journey here. You've, you can see the journey as these cards come down. It's like planting seeds and what, you came to a dead end. What was it? What were you masking? And then you've worked on those things with your generation, with your gnosis, with burning, putting that bridge out. These are your healing elements. It's like cutting off those things that, you know, that you don't need to, that you no longer seek to have. And you know that you're a rock. You know that you're the stone in the middle of all of this, that you have a strength inside of you and you're allowed to shape shift. You're allowed to empty that room. And I and say I am approaching this with the love of a mother. Yeah, and somewhere in here there's a commitment to that. There's a ring. The ring is a commitment to you inside of this. You know, so everything is going to come together. There is something in the dreams that are going to catch up with this picture. It's really important to have a moment to re-dream and let the cogs turn and really get involved in your own spiritual self inside of this one. Here, my little care bears in a teacup. I really hope that helped. I would love it if you hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much. If that you're, I will be doing a passion, another couple of passion readings. I will catch up with you on the flip side. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So, that comes out of our teacup, our little cabbie in the teacup. I'm going to pull up Puppy and see what we've got from Puppy over here. Okay. Bring you to the side. Um, we bring Poppy, excuse me. <laughs> what do we got, Poppy? Okay. So, with the light seers, her all. We're going to put Poppy over here. What have I got? Star seeds, star seeds, hidden worlds, a goddess, and the light seer. And we're putting this put back into the deck. Okay, so if you picked Poppy in the teacup, here we are. I'm going to start with the Tony Carmen Cella Naro uh, Heart and Soul deck. And it's a really beautiful deck. So just picking up and giving a little bit of heart inspiration. So the self-love pyramid. Here we are. Five lines that come down into loving you. But to start with, what have we got? Love this card. An angel surrounds you with, rain with rainbow wings. Here to reconnect with your true nature. The balance, healthy, sensitive, and loving you. Remember that there is more to life than your achievements. Consciously connecting to your spiritual and physical realities will help you connect to the sacred, infinite, and creative part of yourself that is yearning to play a greater role in your life. Aww. All right, so there's going to be rainbow wings around you to reconnect with your true nature, find balance and sensitive, loving you. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, that's a nice 
might start to place a start when starting with our Valentine's weekend like self love reading. I'm going to next card is from the Goddess Power Oracle. So it's really fun picking the decks to go with each one, which ones that I was going to put in with which pyramid, and see what we got. I'm going to have a whole heap of decks just sitting on the floor at the end of this, but that's fun anyway. All right, let's see what we got. One card from the Goddess from the Goddess Power. Oh, there she is. Elisa. Lizzie? Lizzie? Revelation. We're in Chinese New Year. We're in Chinese Goddess. So there's going to be a little bit of a revelation coming your way. There's going to be something that's going to be revealed to you. And poof, like lightning magic. So we've got a bit of lightning magic inside of here. Uh, things are going to change. And you can see that it's a bit bird-like as well, which generally means that it's going to be a communication. But we're going to have a revelation. Lightning revelation into your hand. Just as on your way. With Lizzie. You can see that in her energy is just there. Okay. Oh, she's got a dragon. She's got a dragon. Let me see what she says. Uh, what have I got for Lazy? Where did I just put her stuff? I'm going to read that out of the book. Let's see, Lazy. What are you, 29? 29. Okay, empowerment message. There are moments of synchronicity that brings all the elements together of a flash of insight to rise up in a glorious epiphany. Whatever is not clear becomes crystalline in an instant, as if you are able to simultaneously perceive every facet of a diamond. You know without a doubt that you are on the right track as deep understanding sinks into your very soul. In this moment, change and transformation take place and a transcendent moment is offered to you as an extraordinary gift. Now is one of those times the Chinese goddess Lizzie, the mother of lightning, brings revelations with a fl with a, to life with a flash. She gives you this as a result of all the hard work that you have put be, put into dismantling your old self and making a new space with the one for, for, the, for who you want to become. This is a very auspicious time. Sometimes life throws you curveballs and it feels like you've been hit with lightning. Perhaps a romantic partner betrays you suddenly or illness strikes someone close to you. A job of... Uh, blah, 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 a job you expected falls through and a new employee... In, turns out to be a dud um, or you get a huge tax bill no matter what the subject your task is to pivot and you and correct your course according to the needs of the event even if you don't understand what's happening don't second guess yourself some of the things that are not meant to be uh some things are not meant to be predictable and detours may be exactly what you need loss or bad news aren't aren't the only options in this situation you may have been offered something you've always wanted such as a proposal from a lover or a better job or a chance to move your tendency might be to try to control the circumstance out of worry that you may not be prepared for change the goddess Lizzy reminds you that the great goddess will never give you more than you can handle your alignment to task is to surrender what is in front of you and what you can do Ooh, so lightning energy again this is fantastic okay see sometimes it's good to get them out of the actual let's see what they actually had to say and i didn't know a lot about lazy so that's nice you know anything about lazy you can see your energy in the card and there's communication and change and transformation okay i'm going to give you one from the work your life deck and there it is unbound release soul patterns contracts and past lives okay it's time to let go it's time to let go of some of those old things that have been holding you back all right we want to get that sensitive love that the that angel of rainbow is around and you know feel that this is a place where you can let go of these unbound yourself untie yourself this might mean that you might want to do some cord cutting stuff if you've been still bound to old lovers and let yourself go let yourself go be free release your soul patterns contracts and the past lives okay we're releasing you can see that they're held down from this it's time to let go it's time in the moon to let go let go of your old stuff sometimes you got to let go of old ideas of yourself and other people like it holds them in patterns and hold you in patterns that aren't you and you're allowed to move on and change and they're allowed to move on and change that's how life works because we've all got to grow at our own pace this is the oracle of the hidden worlds this is by lucy cavendish which is the chick who i got all the fairy oracles for but this one's a little bit different this 
one is about old pathways. I'm going to give you ooh, all of those. I'm going to give you all three of those. So, here we are, the oracle. This is sort of similar, isn't it? This is really similar. You know, this is a perception and, and you're your oracle and this is, you know, throwing in the ingredients to get what you out and sacred living and spirit speaking and intervention. So it may be that you are your own oracle and it's time in this revelation that you're, revel you're revealing to yourself and it's a bit of change inside of there. Okay, so the, C, uh, the oracle and we have meditation. So finding that meditative spot inside of this to unbound, to unbind yourself to all the things that you've actually been bound to. You know, so you can receive the love, so you can feel the love. Yeah, a bit of meditation and connection. And there's a nature connection inside of this, finding a real spot that is sacred to you and a place that you can actually, you know, find um, solace in. And on top of that, we've also got pathway, direction, purpose and change. So it's following this move. And it's following this moon, you know, this pathway and letting go and, and the change and, and following your path and your journey through all of this. You're allowed to be different. You're allowed to be an individual. In fact, you are an individual as we work as a whole conglomerate, like, you know, conscious. We sort of want to better our lives. But this is a self-love journey. So this is about your pathway, your direction, your purpose and your change. Okay, a bit of meditation, a little bit of um, sacred living. I like that, sacred living inside of all of this. So, I am going to give us a journey from the Light Seers Tarot right now. So, I'm going to do five cards for how we got here, four cards for our healing element, three cards for your practical world, two for partnerships, and the one for self-love. It's a pyramid that comes down, it's the inspiration that comes down to self-love. So what do we got with the light seers tarot? Okay. Something different each time. I picked this pile, so it was exciting. This is exciting to do a whole heap of different, connect with a whole heap of different decks. This is fun. Okay, one, two. We've got two. Let's go one, two. One, two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is good. Uh, uh, two more. Three more, sorry. We'll do the five. I'll get them out on the table first and then I'll pull them up and show you what we got going on. Okay, two more for how we got here. Two more for how we got here. Oh, Ooh, the moon. Ooh, the moon. The moon again. The moon again. The moon again. Dreams and pathways. Dreams. Yeah. Incandescent. Everybody says black or light and I'm like, it's incandescent. It's a space for you to dream. All right, so five cards for how we got here for your healing. This is the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. This is a big player energy, and I hear this all over the place. Everybody's like, this is the player. The Knight of Wands is the player. No, the Knight of Wands doesn't want to settle down. The Knight of Wands is still looking for a spiritual path. The Knight of Wands is still searching, uh, and he's, he's still questioning. He's still open to a spiritual space. So, yeah, he doesn't want to settle down. Yeah, he is out there, but he's inspired, and he's passionate, and he's still going. So this is the king. He's, like, you know, he's not the king. He, he's still rambunctious with his energy. He's still out there searching and, and, and being inspired by the by the fire inside of him because we have we're looking for fulfillment so we're looking out there onto that ocean we're looking out for what that what that is so that it finds a spiritual fulfillment inside of our wands but also what is looking at our emotion we're looking out we're waiting for the for the what comes in from the surf what, what are we going to be able to catch on the surf from what we did what we've made in our decisions in the two this one here in the three we're looking for our fulfillment so that's fulfillment cards so we're still looking for fulfillment all right, and the King of Pentacles. So this can be a fire sign energy. This can be seen as an air, uh, uh, Gemini, sorry, Gemini energy. But we've got the wolf inside of here again. We've got the wolf inside of here. And so this is a nice, like, strong, we're uh, the leader of the pack. He's a strong animal. He is, you know, the king of all his surveys. He really is control of what he's got going on. He's quite comfortable there. He's quite comfortable in his surroundings. He's, you know, warm and, and, and materially, like, he's sound and he has his companion and... We've got this night. So, you know, with this progress of, from the Knight of Wands and your inspiration and looking for fulfillment is to find that middle ground where you become this king that you can find the stability inside of this. Because we have the moon. Whoopah. All right, Poppy, I did move the table. 
Oh, we have the moon inside of this. So these could be people inside of here. These could be a, a knight that you know, or this could be a, a king that you know. But really, these are talking about, you know, making a move and the things that inspire you and making, like, making, getting fulfillment to actually get, like, stability and be the king in your practical world. This card here is a dream like, and you can either be submissive and you've got your two dogs on either side. It's making decisions about what your, what your, spiritual more spiritual but your emotional path is but what your dream is and so this is like a perhaps a stasis an, an organic stasis where you sit and you think about what those two the pros and cons are of the two sides the dark side and the light side of yourself or this stasis where you're having a moment where you dream of what that is because again we've come up with the page of wands so we now have the page the night and the Oh, the page and the knight on the table. So we've got a lot of fire in this. And this may find that you are being given messages. You might find that you're being given sent, sent some spiritual messages. You can feel it. You can tune into it. You're, you know, you're reading into the senses of things inside of your meditation. You're able to find your, your revelation inside of that. This is really unbinding. And you might find that this is, this is a real inspiration. So this, this is a little fire sign element child. Or, or this is a messages that you're finding inspiration inside of this state which way you go all right that's how we got here four cards for healing element four cards for the healing element the puppy and the teacup all right whoa i'm gonna take that one those two whoa whoa okay three oh so this is creativity we've got the three of pentacles one second two of swords healing element Seven of Swords. Hmm. Okay. And one more. One more for the healing element. What do we got? One more. Oh, very interesting. Oh, that one. Okay, okay. Jump in, jump in. I'm going to put him there. Okay, so our healing element. What do we got? Ooh, so we've got a bit of creativity. So your inspiration. This is your inspiration and your um, your inspiration and your wants to find fulfillment. This is the pay. This is a pentacle card. So this is stones. This is really talking about um. Taking the and making your money. This is being creative in making your money. It can be a siblings card, but this is really making your money and and being creative about it. So you might be pulling things together, recycling things, and those sort of things. But you might be actually working out how you're inspired to make something with your money inside of here. In, you've also got these things that you're like, I don't know. All right, so this is going through an explorative phase where you might, there are things that, it's a sort of injustice, but it's talking about what you're blindfolded to. And there might be things that you're being protected to from that people are, are, are talking stuff. Uh, but this is sort of, there's been injustice in the scales of, of the making money and, and due, because this sits over where we've got the three of wands with fulfillment and the king of pentacles. So this is sort of talking about... You know, still going through processes and learning processes and what you don't know is might be somebody talking stuff and sabotage because we have got it sitting next to the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is sort of about listing your insecurities. It's going through those insecurities and, and knowing what those things are. It's hunting down your insecurities. All right, but being protective and being using your cunning and your instinct inside of here, inside of your communications. But there's um, there's been some insecurities and you may feel like you've been attacked, but this is actually a healing element because what it's being told is, is the fool. It's saying jump, jump, jump into the ever ending, jump have a go like jump out what are your dreams have your inspiration you got sparks of inspiration which is jumping this fool this is saying let go step over the edge let it all flow you know this is sort of a real we've got here we've, we're we're succumbing to the depth we're becoming over our emotions we're, we're in that all that that we're in this growth we're in this womb here this is saying take the jump take the jump and jump out along with this page of wands. So there's a bit of insecurity, there's a bit of talk going on, but it's all about your creativity and it's all about you needing to jump. And so this may need you need to write some lists inside of here, inside of what you're gonna what you want to do with this. To so you can manifest being this king. Okay. 
So the next uh, three cards are the uh, how we apply this to the world. How do we apply this to the world? We're going to start with strength because that already came out. And so this is a real position of a strength of your of your flame. You've gone through this. You've been looking for. You know what it is that's driving you fulfillment. You've got the inspiration. And so inside of who you are, you've got this stable strength of the fire fire inside of your being of who you are inside of this. And so whatever this shit is that people might be talking that are creating these insecurities that are your healing element, believe it or not. Like on your creative zone, this you know your strength of purpose. You know your strength of being. So no matter what the injustice is, the practical application is you know you've got the strength of a lion in your heart. This is a lion heart card. Okay, two more for a practical application to the world. Do, 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 do. Okay. I really love this pyramid. I It sort of came about when I first started this YouTube channel. So... It's a really interesting self-love because that's where I really think people need to focus. Their first love is has to be focused. All right, so this is a bit of a daydreaming card. It sort of does go with our moon. It's uh, I could pick what's under this cup. I could pick what's under that cup. So the seven of cups in some ways is sort of a morning. We've got a drain from our cups in here. The six is about reunion but this one is about of our childhood the seven is perhaps like a morning of our past and letting go of that morning inside of us so this is a bit you know you can see the terrain i can't choose and there's some rituals inside of this so there's them letting go with these insecurities and it's still working out where you're going but you've got a strength of heart to balance out your spirit so this is a really about a little bit of daydreaming and picking between those things it's like i don't know what cup all my cups are turned over it's almost like that game where what's under the cup what's under each one of these cups for me to choose. So it's a bit of a, a looking and seeing what you've got in your fishbowl, I guess, what's in your cups, uh, and a bit of choosing between them is what it feels like, and it's on an emotional level inside of here. Which cup are we choosing? And it's, some of it's draining away, an emotional drain away. Okay, one more for how we go here, for, for how we apply this to the world. How we apply it for the world, for our poppy in the teacup. We're going to run at it. All right. So you can see this guy here. Same guy. See, same guy. This is our knight. This is our knight here. He was going through his list of insecurities. He was working out where he might have his soft spots. So people, and he's been going through. And that's the same same sort of situation here with our emotions. We've still been going through that in the seven and the seven. You can see them both healing cards sitting there. They're both sevens. Uh, but this one here, he's, he's running at it. This is the hawk. He is out after it. He is going to go after what he wants. He has. We've got it backed with the strength of a lion heart. We're still working out what our emotions are and letting go of stuff and healing and seeing what's under those pots. Like, but here we've got this guy and he's going to run at it. He's going to communicate and this runs through. I mean, inspired. This is the full jumping and this is us running at the thing that we want, you know, and really determinedly get it. And it's sparked off here by the night of of fire and the knight of wands being uh, inspired this guy's going to go out there and he's going to go through the business aspects and he's going to go after what it is and there's going to be a lot of intellectual communication with that knight really expressing himself all right still all right two for partnerships two for partnerships what have we got valentine's week what have we got for partnerships what have we got for partnerships there they are Oh, Queen of Swords. So, this may lead that this knight and this queen may be having spending time together. This may be that this queen is, is also going to be communicating itself and is communicating itself in a loving way. Um, she will still chop off your head. She's quite happy to, you know, go either way. But this is a very loving, you know, when we look at the loving aspects, this is approaching things with love, being able to express it and being able, and, and being able to express our ideas and perhaps even remove them from being emotional, being able to be able to express herself. And so we're going to express ourselves and perhaps even we've gone through this grieving, we're going to express our grieving. You know, this is a real creative spot. We are inspired to be creative with our, with our world on a physical plane and this, there's a strength in how we're going to communicate this because we have temperance temperance in our relationships so this is a communication card and temperance in our relationships wonderful temperance 
Temperance is a healer. Temperance is a, a patience card. Temperance is a moment where we stop and we heal all parts of our being, being and we try to find balance. So this is a communication of this temperance, a communication of this patience. It's a communication of uh, your healer. And so, you know, through all of this process, it's, again, we're going to jump, we're going to, we're going to, you've been inspired, that first row shows me that you've been really inspired to head on this path and it's time to jump regardless of what people are saying around you. It's time to let go of some of the past and know your strengths, but this here is a healing element and it's real communication. So it may be that this is an air element that a uh, uh, woman that you are working with um, that needs healing or that is healing and helping you and they've got the angel of temp temperance in there or this is a communicating communication of a healer or your healing talking to a healer maybe maybe it's talking to a healer if you want a reading let me know i'll get you one in 24 hours all right last card is the healing it's the self-love card what have we got for the poppy in the cup the self-love oh, i've got two that's interesting oh wow so we got all, oh, we had a lot of court cards on the table here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth court card on the table. If you're in business, this is a lot of communications between people that you will be actually talking. And we've been talking about that with the knight. Um, this is the king of arrows, the king of air, so of swords. So we've got all of the uh the the knight the queen and the king all in a row sitting in here so we've got some really strong communications coming through in here uh this could this is the just king this is here he sits up again behind his motion he's not impassioned to by he's not just driven by his impassions he, he's driven by his mind and then what he hears and the intellect and all of those things so this is a self-love card this is really sitting in your strength and communicating your new beginning this this spiritual beginning that you took what you've jumped and taking the jump to do letting go of insecurities talking through all of those things how you're going to make it and this is the strength this king is uh, communicating and again we sit with temperance and the king this could be a relationship sitting here but we actually have the knight the king the knight the queen and the king sitting there of arrows and up swords on the table there's a lot of heavy duty communication going through but it is a healing communication coming out of a grieving with strength Whew. wow this is a lot of talking revelations letting go unbounding we're back to this unbounding we're back to lizzie with her revelation this lightning revelations and manifesting following your pathway your sacred living space inside of this i am going to give you this last card because it's the empress and so this is a very pregnant this goes from just having an idea this is really taking it and as a as a queen an empress she really is lovingly abundant and grounded and fertile so this is going to come out with an abundant situation for you guys so i hope that that really helped you hit like and subscribe i would love it if you share my stuff and thank you for being here i will have the uh, hot hot tea out directly a bit later uh i hope that you have a great valentine's day thank you poppy in a teacup all right so just got to clean this up so we can get to the next one all right all right all right, all right. quick 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 so what do we got you go back here people can watch me um get myself organized get the disc get these off the table all right you can pick different piles for different things Okay. You guys can go over here. I know that there's a way that you can cut and edit these, but for now, this is how this is going to work. So, I do have one more. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, one more. Oh, for my little sprite nymph. Do, do. Do, do, one more. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we've come to the woodland sprite. A little woodland sprite. If you are here, you may be a little bit fey. If you're a little bit fey or a, a little bit elemental, this is a reading for you. I do my readings in usually with the Greenwood Tarot. They would be what I'm using. This time I'm going to use the Oracle Caro, which is by Lucy Cavendish. Actually, I think every deck I have got on the bench is a Lucy Cavendish deck today. So I am drawn to the elements. I break up my weekly readings. Catch them out. I'm just about to do them today. I do my weekly element by element. 
and so I am very connected to the nature spice, which is why we bring us here. I am going to give us one card from the Tony Carmen Salonaro deck. All right, so I went on this adventure last year. I said to a friend of mine, I want some new decks to go. And then all of a sudden, poof, I got new decks. Then I was like, I really want to do fairy or I want to do stuff that goes with my greenwood that is a very elemental and back into the face stuff. And then all of a sudden I found all these Lucy Cavendish decks. So here we have though, the one that is not Lucy Cavendish. Uh, this is a heart and soul and it says, through the power of love, all shall unfold the most perfect way for all concerned. This card is a blessing from an angel who is here to reassure you that all is well. There is no need to worry. All is bathed in a sea of divine love. All right, it's all going to unfold in a perfect way. Don't worry. It'll all unfold. It's all good all of the time, even when you think it isn't. I'm going to give you this one too because it's sitting there. Sometimes the true purpose of things is hidden from view. Something doesn't quite make sense at the moment, but it soon will. All is about to change. A blessing is on its way and many more will follow. As soon as you feel as though it is raining petals, as soon you will feel as though it is raining petals from heaven. Oh, raining petals from heaven. Oh. All right, that's very Valentine's. All right, so it's saying don't worry and soon it, it's all going to unfold. Let it, everything is a purpose and soon you'll find that you're going to have rainbows. It petals from heaven. Ooh, that's nice. All right, where do I start? Where do I start? Ooh, I'm going to go with the fairy blessing. Why wouldn't you go with the fairy blessing? Let's start there. All right, fairy blessing. When I started looking for Fae decks, Fairy decks, Fae, whichever way we want to go, Elemental decks, Lucy just appeared. And turns out she's actually a friend of a friend. She's an Australian, uh, um, I don't know, is she psychic? She's Australian witch? Australian, I don't know what Lucy would have, don't want to label her. But I got, these are all the Fae decks, so it's fun. All right, one card. What's his blessing for our, our, our sweet hot tea? What's the sweet hot tea? And there's little fake cards. Oh, I'm going to go with that one. I could feel it. Oh, the blessings of dreams. Look at her. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to give it a little read because I like the story time. The blessing of dreams. What card have we got? 19. There it is. I love how that works. 19. Straight up. Okay, a blessing of dreams. Whew. Let the fairy gift of blessing prophetic traveling dreams be yours. Under the cloak of stars, the stars of night, let yourself fly and travel, be free to and discover. There may be a fairy gift in the night that is a wonderland be yours. May the fairy gift of the night of its wonderland be yours. Yet there may be a deep and true rest to... Wow, I love how they write these books. Let me do this again. Uh, she's a tongue twister every time. Under the cloak of the stars of night, let you yourself fly and travel and be free and discover may the fairy gift of night that is wonderful one wonderland be yours and yet may deep and true rest be yours too may all dreams be teachers kind to your mind yet challenging and wild let yourself know the right let yourself know the night and the darkness are nothing to be feared but there are is another universe where humans travel in different forms. Let there be dreams of Fae come to you and visit them in old castles, crystal caves, and deep beneath the hollows, in the flower beds of fairy gardens. Let there be travels. Let the travels of the night be yours. May every time, may every time of darkness hold you beyond. You, <laughs> sorry, may every darkness. Hold for you the stars beyond measure and may the stars be what attracts your eyes and your heart. And know within you that there are, then know within you too are the night and the day and when we bring them together, true magic can take place. Let there be visions of nocturnal adventures and great understanding of the darkness both within and without yourself. You shall see that what shines within the times of darkness and be aware of the blessings of the great creating cosmic connections and perceiving the galactic energies. You are a child of wonder and of the night and from this time forth let your dream let your night and your dreams 
Oh, what a blessing. Let your night and your dreams of true friends with you be fairy gifted and blessed by the elementals who know the way between worlds. Fairy blessings of the night and the dreams of uh, and fairy blessings of the night and of your dreams to you, friend. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow. So if anybody's looking to do some lucid dreaming meditation, there's probably time. You know, I think sometimes we are lost. We're lost in this modern world and we don't take enough time out. And that's what that's about. It's taking the time out to reconnect with your dreams and your visions. You know, letting go of what your worries are, knowing that the future is going to come, knowing that it will rain petals, rose petals from the sky. And we have a blessing in our dreams. Okay, let's see what the dragon oracle gives us. The dragon fae. All right, let's see what we've got with the dragon play today. Oh, Lady Luna's magic on the bottom. The dragon, the dragon play. Okay. Enough. This I'll give us one from the mermaid, so we can have a full balance. How about that? Dragon play. Ooh, we have got today. The elder. Heed the wise counsel. So this is saying that it's time. It might be time for you to listen to some wise counsel around you. It might be time that you listen to your elders. There might be something in the old tales, the wisdom in the old tales that you need to draw on. All right, but this is really taking your time. You've got blessing of your dreams and consult your elders, like the signs and symbols that are in your dreams. It may be that it's time for you to consult an elder. All right, so this is heed wide counsel. So somebody might be telling you that there's something in there that you need to have a good listen to. Heed your wise counsel. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Okay, one more before we move on to the self-love triangle. All right, let me see what the mermaids have got for us. Let's see what the mermaids have got for us. Oh, okay. The mirror. Know thyself. Self-examination. Seeing who you really are. Okay. So when we're reflecting... This is a reflection card. This is about letting go of our emotional attachments to it and holding a mirror to ourselves and seeing where we're connected to it. You know, this is a card where we're really taking a stock of our life and having a good look at where those rose petals are, perhaps, where they're placed in our life. Uh, but it's a time to know thyself, self-examination, taking a real spot as you go through this transition to know who you really are. Not what other people see, but knowing in yourself and a self-reflection of ourselves. All right. At the end in the mirror, we will stand alone all right, to see what our soul is saying at the end of all of this. So that's really interesting. This is a time for self-respection. Right, don't worry where it's going. All right, don't worry about where it's going. You're not in control of that. It's going to shine abundance. You have blessing on your dreams. And if we're not just talking dreams as in... You know, what you as of a night as you sleep, we're also talking dreams of the day or blessings on your dreams from the fairies. So, so we're going to do the five line pyramid. This is to self love. So, the first five are four. How we got here four for our healing element, three for our uh, how we put that into the practical world, our, our 3D world, two for our partnerships, and one for self love. So, let's see where we start again with the Oracle Tarot from Lucy Cavendish. All right, different decks in every single one of these readings. So there's one. Let's put all five out and we'll see where we go. There's two. All right. Let's put all five out and see where we go. Okay. Our little woodland sprite for this week as we're leading in two. Come on. There. Yeah. Okay. Two more. There's one. Bring them all over and we'll bring you out of the way. And one more. One more. Let's see what we got. One more. Oop. There. All right. Let's turn them all over. Each one of these readings has been very different. We've still got to do the weekly. Here we are. Okay. So we're going to go with strength, dreams, temperance, contemplation, 
and budget lessons. Ooh, okay, budget lessons. It's about endurance, that card. All right, so we've come with strength of heart and strength of courage. So this is about um, taking on the world with perhaps a lion heart. This is really finding that strength inside of yourself. That's how you've got to hear and where the strength of your heart is and where the strength of what your passion is and what the fibre of your being is. This year has been challenging and so with maybe a position inside of this that you're trying to find what your strength of heart is. That's what we're coming in with. So we also have the chance uh, dreams of chance so we have the three of wands this is about fulfillment this is about taking those dreams and taking your chance taking those decisions of what the what you what you faith and what you believe in and taking a chance on them so taking your wands and and really walking forward with them and in your decisions and and taking a chance on what you believe in Okay, dreams of chance, Tap balance, so temperance, temperance, so when we're going through, this is a healing energy, uh, temperance energy, temperance is really about um, finding that balance between your dark and light, this is finding that moment that you can sit and heal, this is a patience card, this is a patience while we um, drink the waters of healing that the temperance, ladies of temperance are blessed, so this is a moment that you are right in the middle of, that what has come to this is, is really healing yourself with taking a chance on your dreams and having strength and courage in conviction in that in your heart so we have the eight of cups so this card is uh, really contemplating this is really contemplating your action but this is really contemplate this is actually a rebirth this is a position of rebirth where you contemplate everything that's in your cups you contemplate where the bones are what it what made your cups what made your emotional life this is a spot where we really tune in to making a new person and we contemplate what the what the what our emotional place is and what the what this rebirth is in our in our lives oh that's really interesting so and then as five we come out with the five of pentacles so this is about protecting what you've got it really is a learning about budgets but it's really learning about how to have something sustainable and enduring all right so we can sit and we can have a, st a storm that passes us by but we can sit in a place that we can budget uh, i guess and and that is about being in a spot that we can actually um be able to sustain what we've got it's about endurance five is of the senses and this is a uh this is of our coins, this is our rocks, this is a spot where we, you know, that we really pull our belt in a little bit, but work into a space that we can actually work from. All right. Okay, so it may be that you're contemplating your emotional life and you're running it off with your money inside of here as well. There's a lot going there. All right, so the next four cards are our healing element. What's gonna heal us in this scenario? All right, it's gonna look like a long video. Okay. Oh uh, no, we're going to take up to load to upload. Okay. Okay. Two. Oh. So we got the tower, and we have the hangman. Oh, strong. Oh, you got strong energies going in here for a fairy reading. Really strong energy going on, people. Okay. The tower isn't always light and fairy. Okay. So tower so when we were talking about this here with this contemplation we've got these bones this this is lightning energy so what happens with the tower is it actually you, what isn't you've got these holes and it, it gives you there's a it brings down your foundation it's talking about the strength of your foundation so with the tower we're looking at what is our foundation where is the holes in our foundation where is the strength of this there's a real breakaway in this card and this card is really talking away and breaking away from everything that it doesn't necessarily that isn't serving you and in removing those things from your foundation and so so we make a new life from this and it's usually quick and it's strong but it's quick and happening and changing energy with the tower right but this is about taking your dreams and it's having strength of heart is where it's come from and it's actually inside of your healing element so with this we have this suspended moment with the hanged man where he's sitting there where he's waiting for the balance and he's sitting there in the air now and this is a spot where we literally again are looking at ourselves it's a reflection card this is a reflection card looking at ourselves looking at the different spots and how we got there and looking at and having a moment of stasis to go with this temperament where everything is in suspension this is a moment of suspension okay so we then have the ten of arrows ten of swords so when we're talking about this ten of swords look at her spinning she's spinning she's spinning there what did they say it's healing and a second chance with the Ten of Swords, we're talking about the one and the zero. So we're talking about the master and the innocent or the master and the fool. So quite often this can be about instruction. 
But this is a second chance card, they're saying. So this is a moment where we take all of the energy that we've got that we know and we communicate ourselves. So it's a healing card. We're able to communicate our healing. We're able to communicate where we're at. And we're getting a second chance. So it may be moving into another course. It may be that you're going to learn something new. It may be that you're going to teach something new. It's quite often with this card as well. Ooh, what? And another healing element we have. Oh, the one of wands. This is a spark of life. Oh, two of wands. Sorry. Sounds back of life. We add one more to it. This is about making decisions. When we're talking about fulfillment here with the three, this is about making the spiritual decisions that actually give you that second chance. This is about, um, you know, making a spiritual decision. This is about your own power, deciding your own power, what that is, what are the dreams that you are going to take a chance on come from this, the decisions of your own power and taking that power in your own hand and rub those two sticks together and making a bonfire of your own spirit, of your own making, of what you want in here. So you've got a second chance and you really have, everything is broken down, is what it's saying. Everything is broken down. You have, still have your strength apart and you have your dreams and you've been going through a healing spot. You're going to communicate that healing. You've been able to stop and reflect on what has been going on that may have put you in the position that you're really having to pull your belt in. So we might have that endurance and what that rebirth really is. But now we're going to bring that together. We're going to rub these two sticks together and we're going to make fire we're going to rub these two magic ones together and we're going to think what our personal power is inside of this okay how do we apply this to the world three cards for how we apply this to the world how do we apply this to the world all right celebration that's joy that's the three of cups look at her i'm going to stretch it out that's the three of cups. That's how you're going to apply it to the world. You're going to have joy. You're going to walk out of this and get rid of all the old things. You've had a look at yourself. You know who you are. This is about your own power, your own personal power, your own dreams. All right, and this here, she's stepping out. This is joy. Look at that. I'm coming out. She's got her cups and she's got more balance up. And this is the cups of joy. So this is celebration of the bounty of your heart. That's how you're going to apply it to the world. Uh, you're going to take joy from what you've done. You've had reflection. You've got wise counsel. You've got your dreams. Taking a chance on your dreams. Uh, two more. Two more for how we book or how we apply it to the 3D. Three cards for 3D. It sort of works that way. It's like five cards for the 5D, four cards for the 4D. You know, your healing element for your mind work needs to meditate on. Uh, three cards for how you apply it to the practical world. Come on, two more to go. Not a shuffling going on. Come on, one, two, three. I'm going to divide you if you don't do it. I've been shuffling for a while now. This is sort of like my trade and so you're getting sloppy. Oh, there it is. You see that bounce out? I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take the top one and the bottom one. That one bounced. Oh, of course we were waiting for you. And I'm going to take the top one. Whew, okay. So, nervous about change. So I've got nervous about change in the four of cups. So that is your three cups of joy. And what's a fourth cup? That's you. So it's your emotional heart and you're nervous about this change. That's what we've got here with this four of cups just here. It can be boredom, but this one here is saying it's a little bit nervous about your change, emotionally nervous about change, because you are, because you're really embracing the high priestess. All right, and this is right in the middle of this reading. She's going to sit there right on top of everything saying, I am the high priestess. I am connected to my spiritual path. I am connected to my spiritual feminine. Uh, this is a real connection to everything. That, it's everything that you've driven in your heart. You've gone through all this break and you've broken down things on purpose. You've had a real good look at yourself. You were healing yourself, right? And so you're still a bit nervous about this change. Where does that go? Because we've gone from the three, which is joy, and to the four of cups over here, that this really is this look a flowing abundance from this high priestess, right? You're really connected to the high priestess and her healing and the wisdom and, and the elder, what a beautiful spot. You're going to apply that to the world. A little bit nervous. That's okay. A little bit nervous. That's okay. We're going to still celebrate our joy. Interesting. Either side of this. A little bit nervous about it. Still going to spread our joy. Okay. Cool. Uh, two cards for our relationships. What's the relationships? I'm take that top one. Oh, the lovers. Okay. I've got the lovers. Beautiful lovers in this card. All right, so our relationships. All right, this being a loving weekend, I get the, I'm glad we've gone to this place because you've gone through a lot of change. There's a lot of look at reflection inside of this. It's looking for your dreams. It's waiting for the abundance. All right, it's waiting and, and it's time to just stop worrying and searching for, it's time for you to follow your guiding star. And 
wow, there's been a lot of contemplating inside of this. You've really had to look at what the endurance of what you actually can sustain is. But we come to the relationships and you've gone through all this change and all this wonderful bounty to get to the lovers. So this is a balancing of a masculine and feminine. This is a real connection. It can be seen as a Gemini energy at the balance of the masculine and feminine side of us and how we're able to communicate it. But in our love life, in our connections with the world, with people, you're going to be approaching stuff as the lover. Let's see what the other card is. Oh, we've still got the star on the bottom of there, which is sort of this star here that I was just looking at in the background. So it's really keeping an eye on your dreams, people. All right, got two more cards to go for this reading and we're done for the pick pile this week. Okay, what have we got? Two more to go. One more for partnerships. One more for partnerships for our little woodland elf people. Woodland sprite with the horseshoe. Ah, oh, new career moves. Oh, uh, new career moves. So this is actually a new practical material world. This is really a foundation showing. This is a first coin. This is getting a bit of coin. This is about um, maybe you're putting the lover out there and it's going to turn over. But this is a new, you, you maybe all of this has done has brought you to a loving position that shows everybody that you're the lover and that you are really making a new practical new world for yourself, really indulging in your new world. This is a, a real physical start to something. Might be a new relationship, might be moving in, might be investing with people, might be really um, getting a new job, could be a new career, could be a change. And everybody's going to see that and share the love with you. The, you're the priestess you're the lover you've gone through a lot of change you've been temperance in the middle of this you've tried you've been healing inside of this you've had a good reflection at yourself and you're giving yourself a second chance to be in your own power all right up here this is dreams of change and this is nervous about change so we need to bring that in a little bit but you're probably nervous to change because we're looking at this budget so we've been looking at what we're worried about in our practical world and what we can endure and what we can go through then we've been rubbing our sticks together to make our power and make our wands make our magic come together like and, and make decisions of that we're a bit nervous about this change but what's coming out of it is going to be new 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 money new practical new wealth so it's all coming together one more card for self-love what is this line so we've got strength the tower celebration and the lovers okay so you've got the strength of heart that you've had you've gone through the breakdown of everything we've got joy coming our way and we've got the lovers sitting in here and so this is all a nice big love line that we've had to break away from old things and we've got new foundations Woohoo! one more card self-love all right, people, thank you very much for joining me. If you're still here in this little woodland sprite, pick a card, pick a pile reading. These are a bit different for me. I decided to expand my self-love pyramid so that I could do it as a pick pile. So the videos look long, but they're just pick pile and self-love pyramid. One card. The magician. <laughs> the magician. So with all of this, this is a very Gemini card. This is a very Gemini card. And so we've got a lot of intellect, we've got a lot of communication on the table. We've got the lovers sitting here and this is a real magic spot where the M the high priestess is about manifesting our spiritual path on a, on a divine level. This is a real manifestation card where the magician says if you bring it all together uh, and if you really want to hold your magic in your hands and really like really manifest what your dreams are take the chance on that dreams listen to your elders reflecting on yourself listening to your dreams you're the magician you can manifest anything you want this is the height like this is the height of manifesting in, in your material material world intuition and taking chances the whole way along here this is about taking chances so i really hope that you are taking a chance in yourself because this is a really empowering saying if you take that chance in yourself you're going to be the lover you're going to manifest this all this is really a manifestation strong with the empress high priestess in the middle of all of this amazing thank you for still being here i really hope you enjoyed that i will be putting out another few readings over the next couple of days i uh, will catch you on the flip side thank you very much